Now this area here, you come up the stairs we just we just came up, take a right, come through these double doors. And this area here is where we're going to exit the lift. And as you can see, we've got plenty of height. We've got uh, plenty of room there uh, when the uh, occupant comes out of the lift. So it's pretty much, uh, pretty much perfect application. We just came in uh, this bathroom here through this entrance into this uh, closet. And this is actually uh, quite, quite large. Uh, plenty of space here. And this is the wall where we expect to, to uh, have the back side of the lift. And so that wall would represent the same one that we looked at at the lower level where we were talking about placing the door. And uh, two things that we did mention that we need to note. One is the height of the floor of the lift and how that impacts uh, the entrance and the height of the, uh, of the floor pan. And um, of course the footprint of the adjacent lift, which is, didn't appear to me that we had sent that information yet. So this is where the inside of that shaft is gonna be. And one thing we need to note uh, when we send the plans is to make sure we identify where the emergency crank access is going to be so that doesn't become an afterthought. Okay.